I think that they have done the stupidest thing, which is trade that group of people that loved them and wanted to support them and would bend over backwards to show their support just because that's a Christian business that espouses the same values I have, that they have now become just another fast food place. And they traded those people for a bunch of woke people that hate them and will never forgive them anyway. So if you do like the program, and we hope that you do, make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube or like our page on Facebook or like this video on either of those venues. However you want to show us a little love, we always appreciate it. And I'm sure that, especially because of my history, if you've been a fan of the show for a long time, you probably knew that this was going to be something that I, I had to bring up. You may recall that back in the day, Back when Chick-fil-A was very proud to stand up for traditional values and gave money to Christian charities, even though they took a lot of flack for it and a lot of heat for it, I was I started a campaign, and I encouraged all of my listeners to do this as well, that every single time somebody on the left, whether it was a city that tried to kick them out of their airport or somebody that just wrote a nasty article about them, that I made it a point to every single time that happened, even though I'm a person that really doesn't like chicken, that I went to Chick-fil-A and purchased a meal. Sometimes I kind of cheated a little bit and went to breakfast when I'd get a sausage biscuit instead of chicken because let's be honest, their biscuits are pretty darn good. Um, but anyway, I always did this, and this was a campaign that I did, and I encouraged my listeners to do the same. And you may recall that when they caved and bowed the knee to the Rainbow Jihad, I was very perturbed with them and actually stopped doing that. That's something that I no longer do. Well, interestingly enough, even though they did cave and capitulate and stop giving money to Christian charities that just preach basically standard run-of-the-mill Christian beliefs about homosexuality and traditional marriage, even though they did that and even though they caved to the left, the left is still coming after them. And, and one example of this is one of the wokest corporations in America. I mean, this is the same people that gave you the rainbow burger and are constantly jeering and sneering at people and, and putting out ridiculous ads that have no basis in science whatsoever saying that, oh yeah, we sell beef, but like our beef somehow doesn't contribute to global warming the way the other beef does, which was ridiculous. And if you want to see my commentary on that, you can actually go to my uh, Burger King commentary on their ad that they put out trying to address, I kid you not, cow flatulence is a part of global warming, as insane as that is. But anyway, so Burger King is is one of the woker companies in, in the country. They're right there with Starbucks and a lot of the other ones that constantly engage in this sort of thing. Well, since it's Pride Month, Burger King is unleashing a new chicken sandwich and specifically took aim at Chick-fil-A. You can actually see this tweet here where they, they kind of take a jab at Chick-fil-A. It's, it's not outright, but it's close. So they say here, during Pride Month, and in parentheses, even on Sundays, which is a, a pretty obvious jab at Chick-fil-A, which is closed on Sunday. Your chicken sandwich craving can do you good. We are making a donation to Human Rights Campaign, which is a insane radical uh, gay advocacy group. I don't know what they actually go by, but they're an organization that lobbies for compelling Christians to bake cakes for people they don't want to, that kind of thing. For every chicken sold, that's their new chicken sandwich. And then they also added, with every chicken sold, Burger King will contribute 40 cents to the human rights campaign. Maximum donation is at 250000 So that's Burger King trying to virtue signal to the left how woke they are and how non-conservative they are and to stick it in Chick-fil-A's face and saying, you can get our sandwich even on Sunday. So it's an obvious jab at them. It's not even very well thinly veiled. But here's the thing. Burger King's garbage food anyway. I'm not going to sit here and tell you to boycott Burger King because frankly, their food does that for them. I, I haven't eaten at Burger King for years, even way before they started doing all this woke mess. And the thing is, I used to actually eat at Burger King quite a bit, but the quality of their meat has dropped. Their burgers just aren't as good as they used to be. And so I gave up on Burger King a really, really long time ago, way before all this political correctness garbage started getting worked into their business model. So politics aside, I don't even really prescribe to that, but this is a perfect example. I'm not even going to talk about Burger King that much. This is a perfect example of why Chick-fil-A made a severe miscalculation in bowing the knee to wokeism. Because these people never relent. They never forgive. 
It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter how much you apologize or come over to their side and tell them that they're right. They don't forgive. They don't forget. And this is a perfect example of that. Burger King, a member of the woke left, is looking at Chick-fil-A with disdain even though they capitulated to them and even though Chick-fil-A no longer gives money to Christian charities that teach things about traditional marriage. And even though their CEO, Dan Cathy, um, literally bowed the knee and did the whole bizarre foot-washing thing to Black Lives Matter and gave credence and honor to them, even though Chick-fil-A has completely caved to them, the woke left doesn't forgive them. And they let them know that and specifically target them. This is the way that it works. And this is why I said Chick-fil-A is insane for thinking that appeasing the gay mob is going to do them any good. Because there is no forgiveness. We have to remember that forgiveness is actually a relatively new idea in the human race. Even under Judaism, where there was some level of forgiveness written into the, the old law, even then. Forgiving people and loving your enemies is not something that is super emphasized in the law of Moses. And so really that didn't come as something as seen as a universal and uh, a universal good and a virtue until later. Now, again, the old law certainly laid the groundwork for it. And that is something that is espoused as a good thing in the old law because Jesus is the ultimate fulfillment of that law. But my point is we've only been living on this planet for about 2,000 years since any group of people thought that loving your enemies and forgiving people that wrong you is actually a good thing. And so it should come as no surprise that people that are outside of that belief system, they don't really believe in forgiveness. And they don't really think loving your enemies is a thing you need to do. Ultimately, it is about dismantling and destroying anything that disagrees with your worldview, which is the way that the world was before Jesus Christ came. And so this is really not something that should come as a surprise to anybody that has studied both Christianity and history, because this is kind of what you would expect from that. But where Chick-fil-A really screwed up is they sacrificed an army of loyal fans that loved them, that were willing to go to their restaurant, sometimes even when they didn't necessarily want the product so much as they were buying an experience, they were buying the family values, and they were willing to maybe even spend a little bit more money or go out and support the business when they really didn't have to. And we saw that with things like Chick-fil-A Appreciation Day or with people like me and my listeners who, whenever somebody attacked them, made it a point to go out there, even though I'm not a guy that likes chicken. And so... They've lost that. I'm not saying they're going to go under. They're not going to like lose their business or anything. But within the span of a few years, they're just going to be another Chick Fil A. Or they'll just Chick Fil A will just be another Burger King. They'll just be another fast food restaurant that nobody has any like special reason to go to. They might like the food. They may still buy it. And by the way, if you're a Christian and continues to go eat at Chick Fil A, that's fine. I don't think that's a bad thing. Just like even though I don't really like it. I mean, I, I, I don't think that, you know, going to a organization that gives money to leftist causes is necessarily a sin or something that God's going to be upset with you about. I just think that ultimately, Chick-fil-A has lost that special ingredient, pun intended, that people were willing to support them as more than just a fast food place. Now they're just a fast food place. And because of that, I think that they have done the stupidest thing, which is trade that group of people that loved them and wanted to support them and would bend over backwards to show their support just because that's a Christian business that espouses the same values I have, that they have now become just another fast food place and they traded those people for a bunch of woke people that hate them and will never forgive them anyway. They stabbed them in the back for people that are not going to ingratiate, they're not going to ingratiate themselves to by doing this. They hated Chick-fil-A before, and they continue to hate them now, and always will, because in the Church of Wokeism, there is no forgiveness, there is no redemption. Ever wonder where Superman gets his incredible powers? Some people say it's the yellow sun of Earth, but I think it's because he subscribes to this channel and likes my videos. 
Now, I'm not saying that if you subscribe to my channel, you'll necessarily wake up tomorrow as a super strong, nearly invincible alien, but it definitely doesn't hurt your chances.